Hi everyone. Now I am going to teach you the poetic devices and uh, I would like to give the explanation uh, through a song that is a Tamil song. Uh, in this way you can easily understand the concept and uh, first let me uh, sing the two lines of the particular song and then I will explain you what it is. Over See, in these two lines, the first line, over here, the flowers cannot talk. The human beings only uh, can do such an action, like uh, coming, going, speaking, writing. These kind of actions are done only by the human being. But here, in this song, in the first word, over that means each flower. But they cannot talk. The flower cannot talk at all. But it uh, does the work of a human being. So it is personification. Instead of person, that inanimate object are doing uh, a kind of action, uh, whatever the human being is doing, and it is done by the inanimate object, neuter gender, like a stone, a chair, table, tree, moon, star, something like this. So here, uh, so the pukal cannot uh, express its ideas, the flowers cannot talk, it cannot do any action at all, because it's an inanimate object, inanimate object. So the human being only can do such action. Therefore, it is called as a personification. So over me How can it say? How can it talk? It is a neuter gender. It is an inanimate object. The flower cannot talk at all. So it is called as a personification. So over me But it, it can never say anything. Therefore, it is called as a uh, personification. Uh, in the next line. Uh, so, here there is a comparison between the life and the battlefield without uh, as or like. So, this line refers to a metaphor. So, indirect comparison is there. So, life is compared with the battlefield but without using that word as or like. So, this is called as a uh, metaphor. So, I have explained to you the personification and metaphor with the help of the uh, Tamil movie song. And uh, I hope that uh, you must have understood the figure of speech and the poetic device in these two lines. And thank you so much for listening.